Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be recreating my first stamped gradient manicure. Here's the original photo, horrible photo, but I did pretty good on the mani. I started off with Neltique's Formula 2 and I'll be using white tips from Orly as my base color today. I haven't used this one in a really long time. It is getting a little thick, which actually makes it a better polish for me, <laughs> but it's still not my favorite white, but I figured since I was using some other Orly polishes, I'd just keep it all in the family today. Um, it's not leveling out, but like I said, it's getting a little thick. I could add some thinner to it and see what that does, but uh, whatever. As you can see, I have shortened all of my nails. My ring fingernail, my middle nail, and my thumbnail all have um, issues, so they all have kind of like patches on them, so... They look a little fatter than the rest of the nails, but we're just going to have to roll with it. Hi, Woody. How you doing? I'll be topping this with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Going to get it to dry down so we can get that gradient laid down on the nails. It kind of worked out that my nails were shorter for this because they were shorter back in the day when I did that manicure. I've got my sponge out. We'll make up wedge cut in half. And I'll be using these Orly polishes. I don't know what the first one was. This one's Hot Shot. And this is Glow Stick. I think the first one's like Melt Your Popsicle or something. I've got my liquid latex on. And my sponge is dampened. I find that makes a smoother gradient. And also it uses less polish. So there's going to be a lot of gradient action going on here. I'm just going to have to keep reloading this and reloading that sponge and rolling and tapping and tap 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 until I get it the way I want it which is going to be quite a minute because um I thought these were pretty opaque polishes but I don't know for whatever reason it it needed quite a bit of attention today I don't even know how many rounds I did I do get faster and faster I speed the video up faster and faster um, between each load up of the sponge just so that this video isn't um, you know 20 30 minutes long or whatever um, I do like showing the whole round that way you can see how many rounds it actually did take I don't want you to think that you know you could use these polishes and go through one round and voila they're perfect there it takes a minute sometimes some polishes do really well, and some of them you've got to build them up. So that's what we're doing here today. I wanted these to look bright. You know, we're heading into that hot time of year, and I don't know, something about neons and the heat just go together. Kind of like peas and carrots, you know. So we're just going to keep loading this up and dabbing and tapping until we're happy. I do a little bit of side to side, a little up and down, just to kind of blend the colors. I try to make sure I get all the way up to the cuticle and on the sidewalls because that's normally where I mess up is the sidewalls. <clears throat> I don't want that white peeking out from under there. So I do not work this fast, just so y'all know. I wish I did. It would make manicures like this just be, you know, done with a snap of a finger, but they do take a little bit of time. And But in the end, I'm always happy with them. You know, it's kind of like making chicken and dumplings from scratch. You know, it takes all day, but so well worth the effort. You know, and I don't, I don't do no drop dumplings or nothing. I do the old granny style. They'll roll them out, you know, boil the chicken, roll them out. I mean, it just takes forever. And sometimes that's how I feel like my manicures are. But, I, you know, I love playing nails. So to me, it's not a problem if I've got the time. So, I've got the idea for recreating one of my first manicures from Jilly, from Jilly's Nails. I'll leave a link to her channel down below. She's funny. She's just such a goofball, and I, I love watching her videos. They're normally short and sweet. They're not too long, and she um, she does some really cute stuff over there. She's a, she's a stamper, and I've seen her do other stuff, too, but she's like me. She... She likes to do some stamping, and uh, she had recreated one of her first manicures, and I thought, oh, that sounds fun. So I am going to go in here, and I'm going to peel off this latex. Now, the polish has dried, so it's real flaky, and I'm trying to use my tweezers to get 
some of that up. I don't want it falling over and laying over on the polish and getting stuck. That piece is being stubborn, so I'm going to pop it off with a piece of tape. And there we go. Got, got most of that cleaned up. Not too bad for a gradient. And now I'm going to go in and just tidy up around the edges a little bit with my cleanup brush. And we're going to get on to the rest of this manicure because this is one of those long, drawn-out ones. You know, miss eight and a half, almost nine minutes long. And this is with me editing and speeding things up and cutting out stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. Getting that clean up. I'm trying to get in there tight because I don't want to end up getting that white up. I am going to top this gradient with the Pro FX again. Look how it smooths it out. But to me, this is just magic time right here. I love it. And to be honest, I can't remember which polishes I used in my original manicure because that was before I started writing it down. There's a gradient swatch photo. I'll be using BM510 Brave Steva Game Over and my Maniology Stamper and my Beauty Scraper today. So I'm just going to use the same image, the palm tree. And I don't know if this is the same plate I used. I don't think so. I think the original palm tree image was had fatter um, stalks, trunks. I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I didn't write down plate numbers, polishes, or nothing back in the day. I just did manicures and tried to take pictures. And, uh, but now I know I try to keep track of all the good stuff, you know, the things I used, um, mostly for YouTube, but it also, you know, is nice to be able to reference that sort of thing. I love how this black stampin' looks over these sunset looking gradients. Ugh, oh, they just make me happy. There we go. Go and get that one lined up. Awesome sauce. And we're going to do another one. I'm just doing the same image on all the nails, but I am going to go back and do a little extra on this nail after the fact. I look at it and I think, you know, I need, I need an accent nail. So I'll show y'all what that's about here in just a moment. And scrape that off, pick that up. And this is a bundle monster plate so it's labeled BM so you know it's old <laughs> it's really old but there are a lot of palm tree images on different plates made by different makers so whatever you've got handy would work I decided this one needed two palm trees so there we go I'm gonna use the smudge free top coat from Maniology today and seal the stamping in without smearing it and then I'm gonna use the moonshine Manny's let's go top coat to finish this one off and I really did like it I thought it turned out pretty and you know it was just fun to go back and revisit you know one of my very first manicures that I ever you know did any kind of nail art on and I hope you enjoyed this hi Woody how you doing you back again so leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. And that is it for me today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.